that almost got us there. But at the end of the day, we want to help you as entrepreneurs get better. So we're here to offer you feedback. We offer you some more feedback. But ultimately, we want to get you ready for when you get in that elevator and meet someone who could potentially help you take your business to the next level. There are a lot of in really impressive people in this, in this room tonight um, and in the Boston ecosystem who can help you get there. So maybe you walk into an elevator and you get into an elevator with, I don't know, Dave Gamel or Ed Peace from Brown Rudnick or John Gorick or Joe Martinez from Morse Barnes Brown Pendleton. <laughs> or maybe you get into a, uh, the elevator with some other lawyers or accountants <laughs> who really are out there to help you and really help a uh, competition like this go forward. They know a lot of people and they um, could be a great way to get your pitch started. So let me take you through a day. Let me pretend I'm you. So I can't be a competitor, so I'll, this is my chance to be a competitor. Let me go through a day with you. So you're thinking about you're getting ready for your pitch and you walk into an elevator, you run into one of these guys. First thing you do, put on your entrepreneurial hat. Second, second thing you do is tell them how awesome your idea is. <laughs> and because you've competed in the MIT 100K elevator pitch contest, they love it. They want to introduce you to some of their friends. Maybe they introduce you to a venture capitalist like this guy, or another venture capitalist like this guy. Or maybe they introduce you to a corporate venture capitalist, just as effective, they have money to give too. Or maybe they introduce you to a sponsor or your first customer. But, and you think this is great. You're like, yes, I'm getting going. This is gonna be awesome. But then you think, oh geez, I've only spoken about my idea for 60 seconds. So you get a little nervous. <laughs> but, because the real reason you're nervous is, you don't know what kind of questions they're gonna ask you, right? They're gonna ask you, who's on your team? They're gonna ask you, you know, what, they're gonna ask you, what else are they gonna ask you? Thank you. They're gonna ask you how you're gonna market yourself. <laughs> They're going to ask you, how are you gonna, who are your customers? And they're going to ask you, how are you going to make money? So, you think about it for a little while. And you think you got a real challenge in front of you. But then, you get an idea. You can enter the MIT 100K Executive Summary Contest. This is where you take that awesome idea you had, you add, you grab a pen, grab some paper, and form a two-page executive summary that answers all those questions that the VCs, that um, the potential customers, everything that they're gonna ask you. So you might be thinking, great, I'm all set, I got an executive summary, but how am I gonna form an executive summary? How am I gonna form a team? Well, November is the month where we help you do that. We have mixers, we have speakers, and we have panels going on all month. <laughs> In addition, we have some tools on our website through our Find a Team page, and you might even get lucky enough to meet someone at the event tonight who could be a great help to your founding team. <laughs> so, why should you enter? You, yeah, anyone can make a pitch, but why should you, anyone can make an executive summary, but why should you enter the MIT 100K Executive Summary Contest? First, it's a great launching pad to the business plan contest. You could win $100,000 like last year's winner, Secret Technologies. Second, $15,000 in cash up for grabs. And if you're lucky, I might even let you go in the money machine to get it. <laughs> and third, what's third? Thank you. Oh, yes. Third, this will help you build a foundation to support your new business. So, don't be shy. Enter the MIT 100K Executive Summary Contest. The deadline to keep in mind is December 3rd. So you have the whole month of November to form your team, and December 3rd is the date you have to enter. You can enter through our website, mit100k.org, and I'd also encourage you to stay tuned to our Twitter feeds and our blogs. We have a lot of great guest blogs coming up that will really help you form your ideas and get your exec executive summary going. You're all entrepreneurs in this room. Tonight, we're here to celebrate that. But going forward, we're here to make you even better and help you launch your companies as you go forward. So with that, let's get the energy going. Come on.
Thank you. Thank you, and thank you to the guys in the booth who have been switching these slides for me. Okay, so while we continue to wait for the judges to deliberate, this process can take a little while. Uh, by the way, someone up here is going to win $5,000 tonight, so are you guys, how are you feeling? Feeling good? Yeah? yeah? All right. So... Uh, I am here to say thank you to uh, a lot of people here in this room um, who over the last six, eight weeks uh, put this together. Some things you may not know is this is a fully student-run organization. Uh, we raise uh, the money from the sponsors we talked about. I know we make jokes about them a lot uh, and, and keep bringing them up, but honestly, they give money that goes directly to entrepreneurs and they give support that goes directly to entrepreneurs. And it's, it's really incredible, uh, and, and, and that's why we, we continue to bring them up, and we hope that you will look them up uh, for, for the needs that you have, because it's amazing what they do for entrepreneurship here in the community and here at MIT. Um, so this is a fully student-run uh, group. Uh, this year, we, I think we, the, probably the best uh, thing that, that I did myself was recruit 80 people to come and be on the team. We didn't think we'd get even half of that, we went around campus looking for students to put it together, uh, and when we closed sort of the application round and we added up the 80 applications, we said, what are we going to do now? How are we going to, you know, how are we going to organize 80 people? And so at that point, uh, we, we got everyone together, we started planning, uh, we broke down into smaller manageable teams, and this group was incredible. Um, everything, you know, that you see tonight had some... It may look like it went by in three seconds, but it probably took someone here in this room uh, hours upon hours upon hours uh, to put together. So the names that are going uh, behind me now uh, is this group, um, and I, I wish I could say thanks to each of them individually, um, but it's been an amazing experience working with them. It's been an amazing experience in what a student-run team can do, uh, and this is only the beginning for us this year, just like... Hopefully, for all of you who pitch, this is just the beginning for you this year with this, uh, with this competition. So, as Daniel said, we're moving on to the next, uh, the next two contests. Uh, this group of organizers is taking over from us old people, uh, and they're going to be uh, free to take it in any direction they want. And so, I would like to have them all stand up. Uh, they all wear these hip vests. Um, and if they could stand up and we could, like, scream and yell for them for, like, an hour, that would be really good. So... <laughs> And you didn't get to see the guys in the booth, uh, but I got emails from them at 4 in the morning uh, this past evening, and I also got emails from them then at 7-something in the morning. So I think maybe they got like three hours of sleep in the middle, uh, but that's dedication, and that's the kind of dedication that these, uh, that these students put together. Um, uh, so now we can all return, hopefully, to our normal lives after this. I get to see my fiancé again. I haven't seen her in a while. Hi. I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, anyway, I also want to thank our judges. These are our preliminary round judges. They picked the finalists that we saw, and they also picked the top two from each track, which you saw pitched tonight. Um, they're going by kind of fast here, but hopefully uh, they know how appreciated they are. Uh, we had an amazing group of judges. Uh, in the bigger tracks, WebIT and Products and Services, uh, they stayed until 11 o'clock. They got here at 5.30 over the last two days and stayed till 11 o'clock at night deliberating. And, and I, I thought they would just give up and say, you know what, I have a family, I have kids to go home to. But they were into it. They were making sure they got those 10 people right and the top two people, especially, who were up here pitching from each track. They got them right. So big round of applause. A lot of them are here tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so with that, I think I'm going to hand it back to Jeff, and we're going to do the final of the audience choice voting. So the final three that we voted on... Uh